So this painting is titled From Fear to Faith, and it's actually the first religious piece that I painted. Uh, my brother, Grant, approached me and said, hey, I think this would be a good subject for you to paint. And we talked about that moment, and we read the passages in the scriptures, and kind of reviewed the messages that were there, and the thing that I was struck with is that um, Christ's admonition to the disciples to fear not and uh, to, to have faith. And I started to think about that in my own life. And there are times in my life when I've been more diligent in exercising faith and there have been times where I've had more fear. And so I tried to work in a little bit of symbolism in the characters in the painting. If you look at the very back of the boat, the disciple there is bailing up water out of the boat. And he's focused on the storm. Even though the storms have subsided right around the boat, he's still focused on that trial. And he's doing everything he can to save himself. He's scooping up water out of the bottom of the boat and he's bailing it out. But you'll notice that he can't see Christ where he's at. The sail has fallen. He sits there in the dark. There's no light that's really hitting him. And he can't see the Savior. And so his focus is on that trial, and it's his fear that's governing his actions. And the two that sit on the front edge of the boat, one has his arm around the other, they symbolize that at times in our life, we need to put our arm around others to help them come to Christ. And sometimes we need to be the person who has an arm around them, where someone is saying, have faith, come with me and fear not. Then at the front of the boat is Peter, and he kneels at Christ's feet, and he reaches towards him and asks to be saved. Now just a moment before, the storm was raging, the ship was, they thought they were lost, they thought they were going to die. Peter had the faith to kneel at Christ's feet and ask to be saved. And I think that's a real lesson for us, that when we're in the middle of our trials in this life, it takes great faith to pray to our Father in Heaven and ask to be saved. Um, I've, I've found often that I'm the, I'm the one on the back of the boat with the bucket trying to bail the water out. And I'm so busy with everything that I'm trying to do in my life to make everything work, to, to earn an income and be a husband and be a dad and, and be you know, good at my job and all of those things that sometimes I forget to have faith. And that's when fears creep in. And I, and I make poor decisions because they're based more on fear of what might happen than on having faith in, in Heavenly Father and faith in Christ that they know what's best for me. Faith is a challenge. God knew it would be. He knew that exercising faith, acting upon faith, um, at times goes contrary, I think, to our nature. You know, is He, is he really there? Does He really answer my prayers? And it takes that act of faith to push those fears away and be able to be saved.